Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Hey, it's Lightroom Live. We used to do this show all the time. And now we're only doing it once a month. But at least we're here and it's, uh, you know, happening. You may notice that the only thing different so far is that I don't have a background anymore. Um, I'm trying a new feature uh, in the NVIDIA broadcast software to kind of make this a little more interactive. Like I'm almost right here, <laughs> looking at the app. <laughs> um, hopefully everybody can hear me just fine. Um, we'll see how long this software lasts before it decides that it doesn't want to work anymore. Um, so odd looking. I don't know. I think it looks pretty normal. <laughs> uh, imagine if we did a live stream takeover like this, where we're just like floating kind of dudes. It would be very strange. Uh, anyway, what you're looking at there is the uh, Chevy Malibu body from Proline. Uh, Malibu. Because it's all white, so it's like a ghost. I don't know. Um, <laughs> there's the there's the whole car. That's on the new carbon fiber uh, undercover drag race thing chassis. Uh, wearing blue with a blue screen. Yeah, it actually works just fine because it's using an algorithm uh, and AI advanced machine learning to get rid of the background and keep the shirt. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, this is um, a quick and dirty paint job that I did on the uh, the Malibu. I just wanted to show that off real quick. Uh, scale custom crawlers. I don't think I have a goal for tonight. We're just going to um, kind of go with it. See how many we get through. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I, did, I just wanted to do something kind of quick and easy and not very complicated on this body. Uh, it's a pearl white, really hard to see in photos, but quite a nice pearl effect. Um, did all the outlines uh, for these like race windows on the outside, added some stickers and whatnot, and um, put this big Malibu kind of, this was an homage to the latest Hemistorm uh, paint that he did. Um, sort of a cool kind of graphic layout uh, multiple colors, and then I used uh, some actual uh, grass out of my garden to get some of these striations in there to make it look kind of interesting. There's the front of the car. And there's one of the Pac-Man ghosts on the back, which I thought was kind of cute. So there you go. With <laughs> no background, my eyes have nowhere to avert to. Nope, you are stuck with me. I'll always be here with my backwards hat. Ahoja. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's the Malibu. I just wanted to show that off real quick. Um, I'll probably post it on Instagram soon. And uh, let's get into some photos. We've got lots to get through. What else is new? Um, but, uh, you know. We'll see what we can get through tonight. No, um, no promises on any number. I think we're just gonna we're gonna go with the flow and see where we end up here. Uh, why not start at the beginning with Robbie Bobster here, a nice looking Hilux, which appears to be on a Bruiser chassis, which makes it infinitely cooler already. Nice location. Looks like we've got some other. Uh, looks like a Traxxas Defender in the background there. Uh, hello from uh, the UK there. It's all about RC. Um, but will there be some cropping? Ah, Wes. Hello, my friend. Yes, quite possibly. Maybe even starting here. I don't remember how to do this. Um, the one thing I did want to do is sort of give you guys a little bit of a heads up on the next photo. So what we're going to do is before we get into this one, uh, and we will get to Paul's uh, photo from the uh, the thumbnail today, too. Uh, but here's the next photo. This one's from Brandon, Brandon Liptak. Uh, looks to be some sort of truck. That's, that's an SCX24 with some 
extreme body damage. That looks pretty cute. Um, so what I want you to do is start thinking about this one. And when we get to it, give me some ideas for things that you'd like to see done to the photo. And I'll try to incorporate them into the correction. All right. Back to Robbie Bobster's Hilux on an original Bruiser chassis, which always makes me happy. These, these trucks, um, when you put a Hilux on a Bruiser chassis, it instantly gets cooler for me. I don't, I don't know why, but it does. I think it's the vintage kind of feel. We're going to crop out some of that foreground there. And that looks good. Already a really interesting photo because we've got some nice green elements, some some lighter blue and white elements over here, a uh, nice red truck, and then sort of red and orange rocks. So I think we're going to be able to have some fun with this here. So let's see what we can do. I'm not going to go too crazy on uh, white balance or tint. Uh, it's already feeling pretty well corrected, pretty natural. Um, bring our highlights down a touch, maybe open up our shadows a little bit, pull some whites down, and maybe even crush our blacks a little bit. And then I'm going to add some texture because that's what we do. <laughs> we can all see Bat Matt's Batman nips. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so funny. All the mods are here tonight. Thanks, mods, for uh, hanging out. Uh, all right. Uh, we bumped up texture. Let's add a little tiny bit of clarity, too. And uh, Kentucky blue is always a nice color. Yeah, I don't disagree. <laughs> I was Kentucky sky. That's, the, that's this new Vanquish shirt. It comes in Kentucky sky. All right, let's uh, add a little vibrance to that. And I'm actually going to desaturate it slightly. Okay. Let's get into our HSL sliders here. And actually, before we do that, let's go back here. I'm going to pull a grad into this sky just to get us a bit more blue. But I think I'll go for a sky drama. And then I'll, I'll cool it off with uh, the temperature slider. So that's already looking kind of cool. Much better than it was. What's the button for before and after? Before, after, already looking cool. Um, and then let's throw a vignette on it because why not? Maybe just a light vignette for this one. The algorithm doesn't like the hat. No, the algorithm does a pretty good job um, but I've got it set to performance instead of quality because I want to make sure that uh, everything keeps working. This is a new version of uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, so hopefully we don't have the problem we had before. But no promises there. All right, what was I doing? Now let's go into our HSLs, and I'm going to oversaturate orange ever so slightly. And the same thing with red. Uh, I'm going to pull our greens down just a touch. But I'm going to go back in with a brush and enhance these trees. That's all I really wanted to do. There was just a few hints of enhancement. Change the background color every time. Maybe. Robbie, I'm always, I'm always happy to choose your photos. You do a great job of photography, nice uh, framing, um, and always a great subject as well. Uh, let's do a before and after on this. Let's go full screen for a moment. A fine looking truck. For, after. See, just adding that texture and bringing in that sky a little bit more does add a lot of drama. The crop helps too. They are happy little trees. I Bob Rost the hell out of them. Or it probably is, Bob would probably say, I Bob Rost the heck out of them. 
<laughs> before, after. I think that's looking pretty good. I don't think we need to do too much more to it. I think that's uh, that's enhanced it nicely in a nice, nice kind of way. All right, back to the the app here and me, and I'm gonna eat this. Oh. <laughs> With this new setup, how hard would it be to crop yourself out? Hey, you know I like you, Wes, but. Uh, Actually, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be difficult at all. Here, is this less creepy? Or is this is this worse? <laughs> Let's just leave me where I was. All right. Get rid of the truck in the background. I think that would be a pretty significantly difficult thing to do in Lightroom. Um, because it's touching uh, the other vehicle here, I don't think it's something I would want to attempt. Let me show you what would happen if we tried. Um, if you do this and that, yeah, see, it's going to get all wonky and weird because it's trying to duplicate or replace this edge. And I don't think that's going to work. So let's uh, get rid of that and pretend we never tried. Sometimes you don't, you're just not going to be able to do that. Anyway. Hi, Mark. Uh, everything's going great. Thank you. Hope you're well. Uh, the DK is chuffed. Lightroom Live is back slash still going. All right. Well, I'm happy to have you guys here. Uh, it is uh, It is a fun show. It's not a super popular show because it's pretty niche, but uh, I do really enjoy doing this, especially sending these photos back to people, and having that kind of interactivity in that way. Okay, so Brand uh, Robbie, thank you for your photo. I think that looks fantastic. Let's move on to the next one. Brandon Liptax, uh, SCX24. Comments, please, for what we should do with this one while I'm starting to work on it. Um, since it's a winter shot, which would feel quite good today, it was 29 degrees Celsius, which was steamy. Uh, let's go warm, I think, with this one. Get a little bit of that blue out, because it just feels so blue. Now here's a challenge for the algorithm. Hi, doggo! Come up here. No, come up here. Come up here. Come. No, come up here. Come up here. Yeah! Hey, there he is. Hi! Oh, there you go. Well, yeah, that's going to work just fine. <laughs> You're a good dog. You're going to go under the desk? Okay, you go ahead. Don't go yellow. No, I'm not going to go yellow. I was just taking out some of the blue. Uh, Primetime RC? No, I cannot start over. Photoshop a Lloyd onto it. At a watermark, a tiny mad head in the trees. I should have a little me ready to go. I know Wes has one for all of his stories. Uh, all right. Exposure's feeling pretty good. I feel can take it down a little tiny bit. Contrast. Maybe we'll uh, make that a little washed out. Pull the highlights down a little tiny bit. Increase our shadow density so we can see some of the wheels and stuff. Take the, oh, I get it now. I get it. Thank you, big red bitch. <laughs> Do not eat the yellow snow. Uh, a little bit of texture. I'm already liking this. This is already good. Creepy, because I do. Before, after, it's already looking better. A lot better. A little bit of clarity always helps. Let's do a crop. Holy crop. He's cropping out that house. Maybe we crop a little bit from the bottom too. We'll make it an Instagrammable shot. Sawback chassis. I stand corrected. I feel idiotic. But thank you, Robbie, for letting me know, not making me feel stupid. Uh, all right. 
That's looking pretty good. A slight vignette, perhaps? Maybe a little more clarity in that snow? And hot dog, I think we've got a wiener. We'll screen for a moment. That's a good looking truck. I like all the trail damage that's been added here and some of the duct tape and stuff to make it feel a bit weathered and used. It's good. That's a good one, Brandon. Thank you very much. Rotated, eh? Uh, okay, we could we could look at that. Let's see. Um, go down to the rotation tool. We're gonna lose some right and left because it was a very vertical photo. And if we constrain it, it's gonna get pretty big, but that's not so bad. I can deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> Patina guy. Uh, yeah, we could, we could definitely do that on another show called Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not, you know what? I've been using Photoshop for, I don't know how long, 30 years, maybe more. And there's still a lot of things about Photoshop that I don't know. And I'm happy to admit that. All right. That's looking pretty good. I think we're going to go with that. Thank you, Brandon, for your submission. And uh, if you've never participated in Lightroom Live, I should probably say this right now. If you want to participate and send in your photos and have me correct them in Lightroom like I'm doing right now, and then I send them back to you so you can use them in social media or the internet or um, MySpace, whatever you use, um, send me an email at submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. There is a link down below to that exact email address. And... Uh, you can send those my way, and then you'll be added to the queue, and we'll get to your photo sometime next year. <laughs> Thanks, Quack RC, for the two bucks. Hey, man, awesome to see this show back up. I'm happy to be doing it again. It's been a little while. Um, let's look at that full screen before and after. I think that looks pretty good. A subtle rotation, a little bit of extra texture, and a, a temperature change. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, how is the baby? Let me know. Oh yeah, shoot, I meant to do this. Here's the next photo from Michael Galloway. Uh, two nice looking trucks in a very nice location. Love the depth of field. Uh, let's get out full screen there. Uh, love the environment. Love the trucks. Everything looks really great. I, You know what? I think that this truck was one of Axial's best looking trucks. That blazer body was fantastic. I think it looks really, really good. All right, uh, that's this photo. We're gonna start working on this one here in a sec. Uh, but here's the next photo from Cars, Boats, and Bacon. And that appears to be some sort of wheelless truck. It's very pointy. It appears to be floating on some sort of liquid. Uh, <laughs> so start thinking about that one and we'll go back to Michael's photo here. All right. Disclaimer, picture return times comparable to Josh's 50k truck giveaway. Ouch. Chongy, do I owe you a photo? <laughs> Maybe I do. I'll have to go through the photos. There's a few that I haven't uh, sent out, probably. It's a cheese wedge. Ah, I had it all wrong. All right, let's do this one. Uh, looks like a nice looking TF2 and an Axial SCX10 too. Um, what are we gonna do here? Let's make it look good. Great choice, Matt. Warm it up a little bit. Warm it up, kid. I'm about to. <laughs> Bonus points if anybody gets that reference. Slight exposure lift. And I think we're going to tint this slightly towards magenta. Someone say cheese. Turn the water in the boat picture into liquid hot magma. <laughs> you don't want to get burned by the liquid hot magma. Turn the highlights down a little bit. Let's uh, raise our shadow density. Because I want to see a little bit more of this truck here. And I think I might actually... Um, 
what you would call it. Uh, pull a window on that one here in a minute. Put our whites down a little bit. Add some texture in. Ooh, yeah. A little bit of clarity. It's already coming to life here. Vibrance for sure. What a great... Like, it's nice. It, it what The other great thing about this photo, and we should talk... Excuse me, talk a little bit about this, is that um, Michael did a great job of framing the shot, but also framing the shot in such a way that the trucks appear to be about the same size. Um, the Hilux is in front, so it should naturally appear a little bit larger than the Blazer in the background. Uh, the Blazer is obviously a bigger truck, and in, in real life, it's way bigger than the Hilux. And in model world, it's also way bigger. But by doing this sort of perspective shift, it actually feels like the truck is much further behind and they actually kind of work together in scale. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty impressed with this photo. It's very nice. All right, uh, let's go down to our HSL sliders. I'm going to change the hues on our greens a little bit just to see if there's anything in there. It's coming through as yellow, so that's not super helpful. But what I'm going to do is kind of warm up that background a little bit. And then I'm going to go into our saturation slider and pull our yellows up a little bit. And pull down our oranges a little bit too, because we're kind of, I'm desaturating this background a little bit. Uh, just so it's a bit... So these trucks pop a bit more. That's what I'm trying to say. Come on, Matt, use your words. Also going to raise the luminance of the yellow. Is this show still on? Hi, Jade, how are you? I haven't seen you, talked to you in a long time. I hope you're well. Make a shark eat the boat. Sharks with freaking laser beams. <laughs> Uh, you guys know that this is Lightroom and not Photoshop, right? Tap like for Matt bringing back Lightroom Live. Thanks, Moose Jaw. I also like this cage work on this Hilux. I forgot to mention that. That looks pretty sick as. Good choice of uh, wheel and tire combo there, too. I believe those are SSDs. It does look very good. All right, let's bring in the brush and we'll do a little enhanced tree action here. It's nice. Now we're going to do a boost on the shadows just on some of these rock elements here. And we'll actually pull that into some of the wheel and tire combos here just to make that kind of come alive a little bit. That's looking pretty good. Let's do a little before and after go full screen cool trucks man cool trucks that's the other great thing about this show is that i get to see what other people are building there's so many great trucks out there and instagram doesn't seem to always provide the best stuff to my algorithm i don't know why but this is great i love i love getting these submissions, and I love uh, playing around with these photos. So that's the before, and there's the after. I think that's a significant change, and looks pretty darn good. Bap. Pow. That looks like Nevada near Bomber Fab. Ah, interesting. Yeah, they don't make that blazer anymore. What a shame. I had one, I turned it into a mud truck. What was I thinking? That was a cool mud truck, though. Uh, all right. Thank you, Michael Galloway. Much appreciated. Great looking photo. If you'd like to participate in Lightroom Live, submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. And uh, hit the like button while you're here. Huh? I see 58 likes and 98 viewers, so. Get on that, folks. All right. Moving on to this wheel and tireless truck that's floating. Some sort of boat, I do presume. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make any presumptions. But I think it's a boat. I know nothing about boats. Sort of like 
my my level of understanding of boats is about the same as my level of understanding with planes. I think we're gonna warm this one up too. I'm noticing a trend with me. I like to warm photos up rather than cool them off. I just, I think there's always so much more interesting info when you warm it up. Scale Boaters Guild. Yeah, we have a boat section. Not a lot of participation. Pull those highlights down so we get a little more definition in the sky. I like our exposure. I am going to lower our contrast. What's this super shiny smooth surface? It's got to be ice, right? <laughs> Maybe crush our blacks down a little bit. Add some texture in there. Maybe not clarity for this one. Definitely add some vibrance in that overall. And we'll maybe oversaturate ever so slightly so that boat pops a little bit more. And now, let's go into a grad filter here on the sky. And pull a little blue into there. And then I think we can duplicate that and pull the new one down here. Whoa, don't worry, don't worry. I'm doing a thing. Doing a thing. Can I zoom out any further here? Hmm. Actually, I'll just delete that one. Keep that one. Do another one from the bottom. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And that's just to give a little more texture to this water here. Looks pretty good. Uh, it's a money pit that floats on the water. <laughs> oh, it's the Catalina wine mixer. No, those were helicopters. <laughs> Motor boating and life room. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's changing into a very strange show. We're motor boating this week. Um, all right, what else should we do here? I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's get the luminance on that red popping. Yes. Let's go full screen from Mo. That looks pretty darn good. Before. After. I think I nailed it. I don't want to toot my own horn. Toot toot. I think that looks pretty good. I keep trying to crawl there, but can't seem to get the traction. <laughs> All right, before, after, looking really good. Cars, boats, and bacon, thank you very much for your submission. That's looking great. All right, moving on. Chris C. Ooh, that's a nice-looking long wheelbase FJ pickup. Cool as. Where'd this photo come from? Chris C., very nice. I like that one a lot. Hey, thank you, Cars, Boats, and Bacon, for participating. Maybe next week you can send me a picture of some bacon. Or a car. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this looks great. It looks, it looks like there's bits and pieces from the RC four-wheel drive one, but it also looks like it could be scratch-built. It's not a big photo, so we're kind of dealing with... Um, lower resolution, but, uh, man, that's a good-looking truck. It actually, it kind of, it's reminiscent of, of good old Headquake in a lot of ways. There's some bacon right there. Thanks, man. Uh, let's see what we can do here. I don't think we're going to find a lot of detail, but that filter right there, that preset from Chris Orwig actually does a pretty good job. It, it is... A pretty small photo but I don't mind what's that what that's doing because you know we can start here and then what we can do 
is we can add some grain in, some really like medium grain, maybe even slightly lighter. We'll go light grain on this one. Now it feels a bit like the magazine effect that I like to do. Uh, the DK, if people are taking pics on a cell phone, can you recommend some settings to get the best possible file? Uh, yes, I can sort of try to do that. Uh, it depends a lot on the phone. Um, if you can, if you're on an iPhone, try to shoot in portrait mode. Uh, it does a much better job of giving you some of that faux depth of field. Um, and, I mean, if it allows, if you've got a camera that allows to take, like, high-res JPEGs or um, uh, RAW files, then awesome. It's great, uh, but not necessarily something I would anticipate. Most modern cell phones are going to give you lots of resolution, so that's never a problem. Um, but all the same kind of uh, aspects of photography apply, you know. Um, don't shoot into shadow. Don't shoot directly into the sun. Uh, you know, um, always kind of frame for rule of thirds, and I can show you what rule of thirds is uh, when you do a crop. Um, sort of, you know, if you break it up into sort of the subject always sort of being in this sort of center third, it's always going to look good. All right. You know what? That, that preset actually does look pretty good. Let's go full screen for a moment. Nice looking truck. That is really nice. I love the, uh, the tonneau cover on the back. I think that's pretty cool. Don't tell me how to shoot shadows forever. Hello, Ampro. Uh, Alberto, if you guys don't know, is responsible for all those cool parts on the uh, sand scorcher that I'm working on right now. I miss you, fucker. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's definitely the guy to check out if you want to put one of those together. Uh, it's pretty rad. And I'm hoping to do some of the weathering tomorrow and maybe even get that sort of wrapped up uh, and finished. So, before... After, I think that's a significant improvement. Hey, the Scale Studio, thanks for the five pounds. My, it's your old truck, you miss it so much. Well, that's really cool, man. Thank you very much for uh, submitting it. I think, I think I've made it look a lot better. Before and after, that's a, that's a really great truck. If, tell, if you can, tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, or unless you're talking about this being the actual truck that you used to own, uh, by all means, put some comments in the uh, chat there. I'd like I'd like to know all about it. Uh, Dana, you do not suck at taking photos, by the way. Um, so that's pretty great, Chris. Uh, thank you very much for that. It looks amazing. Um, yes, Dana, that's the email right there. All right. Let's move on to another photo, and I didn't share this beforehand, but I'm going to do this now. Okay, here's the one coming up next from the mini line. A couple of SCX-10s there, or are those SCX-24s? Those are SCX-24s. Get it right. Uh, on, uh, on a rock. So that'll be coming up next after we get... Ben Benvenida's photo done here, and Ben's probably in the chat. He usually is. Um, he's better known as the Scale Thing. What's your What's your name here, Ben? The Scale Shop or some some thing? I feel like I just saw it, but it's gone now. On a rock. <laughs> I'm on a rock. This appears to be some sort of comp scale crawler fab shop. There he is. Hi, Ben. Um, some sort of uh, flat rail chassis with uh, some nice trail ready uh, rings on what appear to be uh, some sort of wheel. <laughs> what wheels are those? I can't tell from here. Uh, nice looking little comp rig though. He's got uh, portal axles on there. It appears, yes. And uh, he's ready to hit the rocks. Oh, Ben, sell me that Woods Runner for tacos. That's a lot of NWSD scatter gun chassis. They all have such interesting names. Like 
scatter gun or chicken taco. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Stop being an idiot. Let's correct some photos. All right. Uh, first things first, I'm going to get rid of those two cars back there because I don't think we need cars. There. Like they were never there. Nice background. Locked up RC wheels. He makes wheels too? I feel like I knew that. I should know that. Um, nice looking uh, shot there, man. I like the framing and compositions. Very good. I feel we can cool this one off a little bit. Oh, thanks again for the five pounds there, Scale Studio. Lozy mini crawler axles. That's so cool. Juicer a body, cut and scratch built bed. 1.55 RC four wheel drive. Wheels and tires, thank you so much. Very cool. I just, you know, it's a great job. Really nicely done. Uh, shortening these cabs is not easy. Unless this one was already shortened. I am not familiar with the Justra. Anyway, regardless, great looking truck. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Ben's truck right here. What wheels are you running? Oh, the Ripsa. Interesting choice. Uh, okay, I'm going to do a tiny rotation. Just to correct our horizon line there. That looks about right. And remember, you have to constrain that crop. Now back to our regular scheduled programming. Pull our highlights down a little touch. I like the dark shadows on this. I'm going to keep those. Maybe even give them a little touch more shadowiness. Trail ready wheels, yes. Trail ready wheels and B lug rings. Oh, okay. Well, I knew he made the rings. I didn't know he made the wheels. Adding a little texture. Because they're always like, especially with a Lexan body, it really helps kind of define the edges. Uh, and uh, actually, it makes it look really, really good. Clarity 2. And then we'll go back, because clarity tends to darken colors. And it's done a little bit of that there with the red. So we're going to decrease our vibrance a little tiny bit, because that sky was getting a bit crazy. And a little more saturation. Uh, whose chassis? It's the NWSD six-barrel shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Was it scatter gun? That's what it is. We'll raise our luminance on our red, and it looks like that's treating that as magenta and maybe even purple. Maybe not. Resaturate that red so it really pops. Northwest scale designs, that's it. All right. Let's get the yellows popping a little bit too. I think we're going to do a little bit of a thing here. And I'm just kind of lowering our exposure. And I'm going to pull our shadows down a little bit too. Just in this front portion of the rock here just to kind of lead your eye into the truck a bit more. I'm not going to oversaturate it either. Cool. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. Um, what else should we do here? Let's play with the mids overall, maybe. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, hello, Sledgehammer. I don't see my Jeep coming up, and the wife is getting hungry, so I'm going to head out to cook some dinner. Good to see you. Good to uh, have you participate. Thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, the queue just keeps getting longer, but trying to do these in order as best I can. Dog's having a dream. There you go. You okay, Andy?
Yeah, it's a good boy. You should put your dog's photo for background. This one is trippy. I like having here. I like I like being here in this sort of floaty way. <laughs> I think it makes it look it makes it look like I'm a gamer. Like I'm gaming right now. I'm like a true gaming stream guy on the Twitch. All right, let's go full screen for a moment. Before after. It's a subtle change, but I think it's a good one. Let the dog do the editing. <laughs> Dana, uh, I'm running the rift this week. Before, after. You know what? I'm not quite done yet. Let's do a little bit more on this one, I think. There we go. That's more like it. That's what I wanted to do. Let's see that one more time. Before, after. I missed those cars. <laughs> the floating head of Matt. The blue shop towel background. Yeah, you can see that. All right. Great shot, Ben. Thank you for your submission. Much appreciated. Moving on. Uh, what we have coming up after our SCX 24s is this one from Peter Ruiz. Uh, nice looking VS410 with some very aggressive uh, bead lock rings. So, uh, oh, cool palm tree. I don't see a lot of those where I'm at. Green's popping. I like it. All right, Ben, I'm glad. All right, back to the mini line here. Uh, let's see what we can do. Nice, uh, I actually like the framing on this. This is pretty cool. Um, Tip for next time, uh, just because of the location, it's it's kind of difficult for me to imagine these trucks getting up there. It's almost like they were placed. I'm sure you drove them up. I'm not suggesting you can't drive. That's not it. Uh, but um, it would be good if there was a bit more rock over here, just so it felt a bit more like a crest rather than like this just sort of rock. But otherwise, great photo. Uh, let's get on this here. Um, white balance feels pretty good. Maybe a touch warmer. We're gonna lower our exposure a bit, and already that's helping because these, it was kind of like, if I undo that, it was kind of popping, you know, like you were getting a bit overexposed. So just bring that exposure down a little bit. Uh, we'll raise our contrast, and then I'm gonna pull our highlights down as well, just to get a little more definition on the Rubicon. Uh, maybe even pull our whites down a little tiny bit. Add some texture back in and some clarity, which really helps a lot. That rock really looks pretty cool now. A little more vibrance, but not too much. Really kind of overcorrects that blue in the sky. So actually, why don't we go down to our HSLs, pick out our blue slider here, and change that blue so it's not so in your face. And then I think we'll even desatch it a bit too. There, that feels better. Where was this photo taken? This one? Uh, JT Moten's channel. These are all submitted through submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. There is a link to that email down below. I'm gonna oversaturate that orange, put a little more into that. And um, maybe even throw a light vignette on that one, too. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go in with my brush. And I'm going to brush this rock. And I think we'll warm it up a little bit. Pull down our exposure ever so slightly. And... Even change the hue slightly there, too. That looks pretty good. Full screen, before, after. See, I think that really helps. It's subtle. Well, actually, it's not that subtle. This is a good environment, though, and it kind of holds a bit of this uh, correction. This felt a little bit cell phone. 
You know what I mean? Like it's just a little bit overexposed and the phone's kind of hunting for the subject a little bit. But this just kind of pulls it all down a little bit, makes it feel a little more artistic. I'm liking it a lot. Good stuff. Uh, thank you, the mini line, for that submission. Looks great. Now, before we get to the next one, here's the Paul Magler photo from the thumbnail. So get ready for that one. If you crop just a smig off the bottom of the rock. You know what, Wes? Let's go back and do that. This one will be coming up after we get to that VS410. But let's quickly do a smidge of a crop. I don't think that's going to help. You know, you'd have to go up to like here. And I think that would be too much. This might... Maybe there. How's that look? Is that better? That's a little more believable. All right. Good. Good. All right. So, Peter Ruiz's is uh, VS410 in quite a unique maroon color. Ah, he's rocking the SBG sticker. Yes. By the way, those new bumper stickers should be here very soon. Uh, I proved the proofs last week, so they were printing all last week. They should be here soon. Very soon. Uh, and there's some funny ones in there. I'm just saying, get your wallets, your PayPal wallets ready. Because there's only 220 sets. They will go quickly. All right. So, uh, I like to think that this truck came out of that hole. <laughs> Moose Jaw, you're a Maroon fan, are you? Moose Jaw, do you like trucks that are Maroon? Take my money. Uh, gladly. All right. Um, do we warm it up? I don't know. Yes. Maybe a little bit. Do we tint? No. Let's leave that tint right where it is. Let's pull our exposure down. I'm going to do a window on the truck here in a minute, so... Don't worry. We're going to raise our shadows a touch. A little more texture and some clarity. Now see, it's getting kind of muddled here. So let's pull a brush in and brush our truck. Look at it. Come alive! We even go more extreme with that. Somewhere in there maybe. I'm going to work on that sky. It's going to be a tough one for sure because there's not a lot of information in there. Anything I do with a grad is just going to kind of feel a bit artificial. It's not the worst, but like you can't go too far with it. So let's say that's going to do it. Boost, I was just a fan of Maroon 5. And then before that, Maroon 3. I'm a Maroon for Maroon. Oh. <laughs> Snazberry JT. Is that a color they're doing? Where have I been? I gotta look that up. Is that really a color? Snazberry Jeep. Show me. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if I like it. Uh, JT is the code for the axi or for the Jeep Gladiator. Yikes! Okay, I've seen it. Snazberry's real and it's fantastic. Joe, if it gets you into a JT, I say go for it. I'm sure the wife approves by now. If she doesn't, ask her politely. I'm going to pull a lot of saturation out of this shot because we're going to do one of these. Everything's sort of black and white except the truck and some orange maybe. Ooh, yeah. Now we're talking. I already like this more. And in fact, I'm going to pull this grad off because that just ruins everything. 
And the snazberries taste like snazberries. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of a crop here. I like this foreground stuff. We're going to keep that. And I like that the bronze wheels are poking through too. <laughs> there, that's looking pretty cool. Hey, mate, he's got a Mamba Max in there. Or Mamba X, probably. That's looking pretty neat. Do we go back in and oversaturate that red? And maroon? Yeah, we do. Noise. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Why are these? Some of these are Simpsons references, I do believe. Scooby Doo may doo doo, but Jimmy Carter is smarter. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm happy with that. All right, we're gonna move on to Paul's photo, but before we do that, let's do a before and after, and full screen for that matter. Before, after, we have made art. Before, after. All right. Now, before we do Paul's photo, here's the next one in the list, Jacob Christensen's tiny little Toyota. This is the CR12 Toyota. Hilux. And I love that photo. That's going to be fun to do. Start thinking about that one, boys and girls. Here comes Paul. All right, let's do it. The thumbnail photo gets a horizon adjustment. I mean, the earth is round. So I've heard. There's no way to prove it. <laughs> um, but there, yeah, there would be some rotation. Uh, but that uh, just needed a slight fix there. I love this blue, so we're really going to play into that, I think. Exposure's good. Contrast feels pretty good. Pull these highlights down a little tiny bit. Dramatic sky preset on its way. Pull that in there. And we'll make it sky drama. Which makes it kind of too dark. So let's... Let's go a little blue, but not... Let's not, not go crazy here. There we go. Something like that. That's kind of fun. So many squares. Yes, there's many squares in all of the things I do. Alright. Um, what did I want to do next? Texture and a little bit of clarity on this one, too. Definitely going to vibe that up. Saturation feels good, though. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, I don't like whatever that is, so let's get rid of that. That's good. I like this little mossy bit right here. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's get some saturation sliders here and really kind of oversaturate that blue a little bit. Pull up that green, whatever green moss there is. That's nice. And I think that's looking pretty smart. Be gentle. <laughs> oh, Paul, you did a nice job on this photo. It's a nice looking TF2. I like... The Monroe shocks, good sticker set on those. That's cool. Um, top tip for most Hiluxes of this era. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on this. The round headlights definitely had clear marker lenses. The squares I don't remember, so you might you're probably right. I def I defer to you. Um, where's our Aqua? Any more aqua in there? A little tiny bit here and there. Pull up the orange a little bit. Get those rocks really moving. Maybe even a little bit of yellow there too. What a nice looking photo. Full screen. Before. After. Huzzah! Huzzah! 
I think that looks pretty good. Sorry, I was having a little stretch there. I had my most intense spin class ever today. I almost died. It was rough, guys. I burned a lot of calories. Feeling pretty good. All right, what time is it here? 9.25. All right. Um, let's do... Let's do two more. I think that's fair. Uh, okay, so... Uh, before we get to Jacob's Hilux, let's take a look at Jay Hansel's uh, Cherokee here. Another snow picture. Obviously, most of these were before <laughs> the break. Because <laughs> it was still winter then-ish. Alright, so get ready for that one. Here comes Jacob Christensen's. Love the... Uh, bokeh, we've got a lot of uh, out-of-focus stuff in the foreground. Uh, nice shallow depth of field. Looks really great. Nice photo. I wonder if we can get rid of those body pins. Oh, we can. Sort of. That's pretty good, though. Ba -ba -ba. I think you I think we can get away with that. Yes. <laughs> Paul Mangler, thanks for the 499. Thanks, Matt. Deferring to me is very dangerous. I wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> well, I think we got there anyway, Paul. Thanks very much for your submission. Again, if you want to participate and submit to scale of uh, the heck is this show? If you want to participate in Lightroom Live, send your photos to submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. Which is an email address. <laughs> uh, love all the sticks and this uh, plant life and all the dew. Really nice. Really nice. Uh, Alex, you can count on that photo. Well, uh, you know what? Let's see how many we get through here. Not going to say it's over yet. There we go. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. It's the NVIDIA broadcast that always kind of, like, craps the bed. And uh, I know the video isn't perfect here, but it'll do for now. Uh, yeah. It's always at the one-hour mark, isn't it? It's so strange. I don't know why that happens. Oh, well. Um, yeah. Um, it's just one of those things. I'm going to have to get to the bottom of that. It's been a real pain... There you are. Do I know you? <laughs> uh, well, we made an hour. Yeah, I know. It's so weird. For that, you owe us 10 more picks. I don't think so. And the red lines are back. Let me see if I can quickly fix that by um, power cycling the camera. Stand by. You could probably still hear me. But you can't see me. Good screen. Good screen capture there, though. Let's see if I come back here. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Nope. That appears to be broken.
yes, Darwin. All the picks are up on the Scale Builders Guild. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but they are. There we go. That's better. New avatar pick tomorrow on Instagram. <laughs> it's altogether possible. It could happen. Sad dial-up noises. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's so weird how that always seems to happen. Anyway. We're fine now. Not a massive shift here because... This was already a really great photo to begin with. Maybe that's, I think that's probably better. Let's go full screen. Cute. Before, after. I'm glad we removed those body pins, but let's fix this one slightly. There. Sometimes you just got to get the, the lines right. We're fine. It's fine. We're fine. How are you? We had a slight weapons malfunction here, but everything's fine now. All right. That's a pretty good looking photo before, after. Thank you, Jacob. Much appreciated. All right, uh, let's do a quick one here on Jay Hansel's um, Cherokee. I feel like we've done one of his before. Um, it's going to be challenging. It's quite a lot of snow. Quite snowy indeed. Not a lot going on in there. So maybe let's do a little crop on this one. Something like that. Bit short, aren't you, for a stormtrooper? Huh? Oh. Matt, you have the pictures on the forum under Lightroom Live name? I believe that I do, Paul. It wouldn't be a normal stream without a snap food. I agree, 100%. Um, all right. Well, there isn't a lot of definition in this. Um, it's pretty difficult to get something out of this because there's so much white. But I think that looks better than it did. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Alrighty, uh, Ian Henderson uh, is going to do this one. But before we get on that one, here's the final photo of the evening from Alexander Guzman. Good looking power wagon on an element, no less. Element Enduro. All right, so get ready for that one. Let's do Ian's blazer with a couple of element stickers here. Scale Builders Guild and Smokey the Bear. The Magnet Flow. So my guess is this is an Enduro as well, but it's not. It's a TF2. Looks great, though. I love the... I actually like the orange here, which is a shocking thing for me to say. I'm just glad Josh isn't watching. He's probably very tired. He had a big weekend. Uh, all right. First things first, let's do a crop because we need to get rid of this GoPro session down here in the bottom left corner. It means we can tuck in some of that sky there a little bit. I think that's going to be quite helpful. Good looking photo though. I love the depth of field on this one too. Uh, Steve D, that reminds me of a quote from, um, what's the movie? Balls of Steel. The, uh, what's that show? What's that sport? Dodgeball movie. Was it, wait, maybe it was Dodgeball. No, anyway. Uh, <laughs> when, uh, the villain is introducing all of his henchmen and he's like, this is laser. This is blade. 
this is blazer. <laughs> Can't not think about that every time. Uh, good exposure. Uh, a little bit more texture and touch of clarity. You know what? I feel like doing some body repair today. There you go. Fixing scratches. That's Dodgeball. Yeah, well, I can't remember the name of the movie. Balls of Steel is the, the ping pong movie. Right? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm right. A little bit of vibrance. And, ooh, yeah, let's oversaturate that orange a little bit. And then, let's bring our yellows and our greens up a little bit, too. And... That's looking pretty sick. Balls of Fury, right. What's Balls of Steel? It doesn't matter. Sled, you might see your Jeep. What's your, what's your real name? We won't be getting to it today. There's one more photo after this, and then I have to call it, because I do have another live stream tomorrow night. All right, where was I here? Uh, I think I think I was feeling pretty good about this, actually. Uh, before, after. Let's go full screen. Before, after. Yeah, just nice. A little bit of saturation. A little bit of sharpening and some body repair all in one go. So thank you, Ian, for your submission. I think that's looking awesome. All right, on to our final photo of the evening. Alex Guzman's Dodge Power Wagon. I've never seen one of these bodies before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a good looking, uh, good looking truck there. I like the uh, detail added by printing some of your own uh, emblems. Looks great. I like that front bumper, too. That's a nice looking piece. Looks like it's fabricated. Very cool. The Fox sticker's cool, too. Or that looks like paint, actually. Very nice. What's this uh, thing all about, Alex? Tell me that. Uh, tell me about that. Never use your real name on the internet. Daniel. All right, Daniel. Well, I'll keep you in mind. Daniel Pratt, that must be you. We will definitely get to that on the next episode in three weeks' time. That's your logo. Ah, okay. Very cool. I can dig it. All right. Well, nice starting point here. Tint that a bit that way. Pull our exposure down a little bit. Uh, bring up our shadows. Think. I'm going to use an adjustment brush here and get rid of this wire. Or at least darken it down a bit. There we go. Just to clean it up a little bit. Um, say it with me. Texture and clarity. I E R C. Is that the uh, the bumper guy? A little bit of vibrance there. Now we're going to go down to our HSLs. I'm going to pull the blue sky down because that's a bit too much. Maybe even change the hue on that. Feels a little more natural. There we go. Saturation, we'll saturate up that red. Play with the luminance a little bit. Maybe actually, you know what, I'm gonna paint some luminance in here. Don't worry, it looks a bit weird for now. Actually. Let's 
cleaning up my cleaning up my work here, painting within the lines. I'm just gonna give that a touch of exposure. Lift. Are they gonna start calling you Matthew Theed Theedy because of all of my orange love? <laughs> Crop? No, Wes. Doesn't you don't always have to crop a photo. <laughs> Despite my propensity to always crop a photo. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe we change the hue on our greens a little bit. Super green. Actually, I don't mind that. That looks pretty good. And where's our orange satch? Yes. Now we're talking. Why does Josh love orange? Mini line, you're welcome for editing your photos. The one with the SCX24 deadbolt and the Jeep. Yes. Very cool. Good shot. Ah, okay, cool. I'll uh I'll have to check that guy out, Alex. That's a good looking front bumper for sure. Very, very aggressive. All right, I think that's a pretty good change. Let's go full screen for a moment. Before, after. I like it. Texture and crop. Well, it's texture and clarity, but I'll allow it. All right, I think that's going to do it, actually, guys. Uh, we got through 13. Lucky 13, not so bad. Um, yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you so much to everybody for watching and participating. If you would like to participate and see your photos on Lightroom Live, send them to submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. Uh, this show will be recurring on the last Tuesday of every month, which is today. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow night, live stream takeover with me and Josh from Harley Designs, Inc. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank Quack RC, Scale Studio, The Scale Studio, and Paul Mangler for their contributions. Very kind of you. Very awesome uh, to have done this show again. I really enjoy doing it, so uh, we will continue to have it in the rotation. Thanks to everybody for your submissions. And... Um, See you tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Have a great evening, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.